Hello guys, welcome back to Ali One TV. So today I'll be taking you chemistry practical one to twenty five possible questions. So watch to the end. Please do it to share and like this video. It's web me go a long way. So let's get started. This is the practical specimen for twenty twenty five. I don't want to take much time. I'm sure you may have it, but if you didn't, if you didn't have it. You can DM me them. There's a number on the screen right now. You can DM me for any assistance or for any help. So let's dive into the possible question on um, quantitative analysis, which is titration. So there are two, three aspects that is going to be given to you guys in the chemi chemistry practical. One, quantitative analysis. Two, is qualitative analysis. And another one is theoretical aspects. Yet, so let's dive into the quantitative analysis, which is titration. So possible question just like an example no, this is definitely going to be the question but there may be a change of order or change in figures of uh, giving figures that you're gonna use but this is how they they do give their question and with the specimens they give so i take my time to prepare this so i type it on my phone based on i don't have time to edit i'm really busy so without talking much let's go possible question for quantitative analysis you are provided with two solutions a solution of hydrochloric acid with a concentration of approximately 0.1 mole per gm qp as a solution of sodium hydro hydrogen carbonate with a concentration of approximately 0.1 mole per gm cube this is the question they're going to give you i'll still give you the answer for it like the question and the answer but this i'm just giving like an example so you can practice with this if you're in your school but if you don't if you like register in a public school or school that don't have things for you to practice so i'll give you details where you will uh, solve it and how you will do everything on your own so watch to the end carry out a titration between a and b carry out a titration between a and b using meter orange as an indicator record the origins and determine a the volume of b required to neutralize a given volume of a b the concentration of a in mole per gm cube c the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate in one gm cube of solution b answer that's the procedure you use to get the answer this is just like an example a guide the question it will, it will come after this so watch the end Prepare 25 cm cube of B in the conical flux. Add 2 to 3 double meter orange indicator, turn yellow in B. Diatrate A from the uh, bullet until the solution turn orange. Record the volume of A used. Repeat to obtain consist consistent results. So, B, the calculation, the reaction is. Hydro uh, HCl plus NaHCO will give you sodium chloride, which is a salt, plus water, and plus carbon dioxide gas. So you use this formula to calculate your required details. So then, this <coughs> see, sorry, mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate from the given solution. <laughs> sorry, I'm having running nose. From the given solution, 8.0 gram per gm cube, confirmed by calculation, molar mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate equals to 84 gram per mole, concentration in mole per gm cube equals to 8.0 all over 84, which gives you that answer. So guys, now let's dive into the question and the answer. So let's go. So now, example, titration, question one. You are provided with sodium hydrogen, no sweet solution here, hydrochloric acid. Let me not to read that, you can see them. The tax you are giving, titrate A and B against, titrate A against B using methyl orange indicator, record rate reading, and calculate the average volume of A used, the concentration of A mole per dm cube. The mass of NaHCO3 in one dm cube of B. So, 
This is the reading sample, just an example. You can copy exact this in the exam. That's if you see the question. But the thing, the thing is that there will be an a like your teacher will guide you on what to do. So because there will be a teacher's report. If your report in the teacher report did not align with what you get, you automatically fail in the practical. So that's what they usually make people to get. So make sure what you put aligns with what you guys reading because I know usually checked check all your reading then put a similar number. So so but this is just an example so you can see initial bread reading zero to all then final bread reading you can see it then volume of a use you can see it average volume of a use equals to the sum of all the volume of a use divided by 3 which you can see i don't want to talk much you can take screenshot or you can be recording this down i really took my time to do this so guys make sure see make sure <laughs> Make sure you give me a thumbs up and um, a subscription bell and a notification bell and ring really cool guys. You guys will really enjoy it. I will post all the question and answer here in real time and also the practical. So guys, let's continue. Then the solution or the calculation A concentration of solution A hydrogen chloride. Given volume of B and A hit CO3 equals 25. Then we want to that there is not a theory aspect so guys you can just see it you can see the calculation you can see everything after taking much of time so then b mass of nah so today oh, one dm cube of solution you can see the calculation exactly what we get there then conclusion average volume of a use so this will just be what so will be in the uh, teacher's report so guys we'll call it a day so guys check the description of this video to join our whatsapp telegram channel